everyone. I'm the son of the minister at St Ninians. This is my dad. He's the minister at St Ninians. Welcome everyone. My name's James Aitken and this is Aidan, my son. We're going to take you through the celebration of Show Tuesday as we begin the season of Lent and the journey to Jerusalem with Jesus Christ. In this uh, celebration of Shrove Tuesday, we're going to talk about the meaning of Lent and we're going to make some pancakes. And at the end of our pancake making, we're going to taste some pancakes. And Aidan is going to be the taster. He's also going to be the mixer upper and the maker of the pancakes as well. And Aidan, what shall we do when we do the taste test? What are the symbols for how good the pancakes are? If my thumbs go up, that means it's great. If my thumbs go in the middle, it's okay, but not great. If my thumbs go down, bad, we start again. So I hope you enjoy our introduction to Lent at this Shove Tuesday celebration. Goodbye. Tomorrow on Ash Wednesday, the season of Lent begins. During Lent, Christians spend six weeks on a journey with Jesus Christ to his crucifixion and then on to his resurrection. On this journey, we think about the way that human beings have both goodness and badness in them. Christians are called to follow Jesus, believing that doing so is the way we overcome as much as we can our bad side in order to let the good that is in us shine out. On this journey, as we get closer and closer to the city of Jerusalem, it will appear that the badness that is in people is going to triumph. But despite that, we are called to keep the faith, stay on the road, right up to the foot of the cross. To help people think about this journey, Christians in the past would fast. That is, they would give up eating many of the things they enjoyed, such as meat, fat and dairy products. The fast would begin tomorrow on Ash Wednesday. So on the day before Ash Wednesday, they would use up all the fat and dairy products that they had in their houses. It was a day of sharing, of hospitality, of community, of celebration, and it was called Shrove Tuesday. And on that day, one of the dishes that was made out of the fat and the dairy products that needed used up was pancakes. We continue that tradition today. We come together as a community to share food, fellowship and friendship in each other's homes, in, in our own homes this year. Before we begin the fast, we do this. When on the fast, we travel on the difficult journey of sacrifice to discover whether it is the badness or the goodness inside of us that is the most powerful. Every Lent, I love eating pancakes. And then over the course of the next six weeks, I give up buying stuff like books and CDs and clothes and luxuries, my wants rather than my needs. And I give some money that I would spend on these things to charity. I encourage you to eat pancakes today and tomorrow to fast. Find something to give up in your life to help you focus on the sacrifices we have made in our lives to allow your goodness to shine through. There's a verse from a hymn which captures the sentiment of Lent as a season of pilgrimage and sacrifice. It is, Come with me, come wander, come welcome the world, where strangers might smile or where stones may be hurled. Come leave what you cling to, lay down what you clutch, and find, with hands empty, that hearts can hold much. Sing hey for the carpenter leaving his tools. Sing hey for the Pharisees leaving their rules. Sing hey for the fishermen leaving their nets. Sing hey for the people who leave their regrets. 
We come just as we are, some bits good, some bits bad, often unsure about the difference between right and wrong, each a mixture of human being, to make a pancake person, a mixture of good and bad, prepared for the pilgrimage of Lent. First, we sift in some flour, smoothing out the lumps and the bumps, the things we regret and the wrong things we have done. Jesus said, if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Then we add a pinch of salt, the salt of Christ's love for us, to give our lives substance and taste. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. We add in some milk, the milk of human kindness, which strengthens people when their neighbours love them. Jesus said, a new commandment I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. And we add eggs, the symbol of new life and the new possibilities we receive when we love God and walk in his way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We mix this all together. Our past regrets and our hope, future hopes to create the bread of life who teaches us to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbour as you love yourself. May this food give you strength for your journey. Remember all the love you have received from God who in Jesus Christ made sacrifices and became vulnerable unto death. And remember all the love you have to share with others. Much bigger, there we go. Oh, we need to get a bit more, a bit more. That's it. That's it for it. Let's put it in there. Let's switch this over here. There we go. Let's leave it for a minute. Yep, the camera's on. Okay, we'll put it here. Okay, you ready? You watching? Ready? One, two, three. It's <laughs> gone. Okay. Okay, it's hot. Yeah, it's 
it's a professional yeah. pancake, just it's really thin and you hang in half like this one.